Hey, so today I have my first video on empty products and if you don't know what empty products is, it's basically when I finish a product and I put it like, um, on a box and when I collect a good amount of products that I finish, uh, then I just turn on the camera and tell you guys if I like them or not, if I will push it, uh, repush it, yes, and um, all this kind of stuff, They're kind of like a review. And I have this box over here, my converse, and this is full of stuff. This won't even close, it's like insane. Like, you see the amount of products that are in there? Oh my god. So I don't know if I'm gonna go through this all today, but let's see. And a disclaimer, I uh, actually um, this is all my honest opinions, this was not sent for any company or anything like that and um, another note, this is my opinion, so if I think like a product doesn't work, it doesn't work for my for me, it may work for you, who knows, but this is my opinion. First thing I have here, and I guess I'm going to start with skincare, is this uh, facial wash um cleanser and this one is from Cien but yeah I really like this wash it's really nice really cheap uh it's really sensitive um uh, for sensitive skin doesn't hurt doesn't burn I mean and I really like it this is for normal and mixed skin uh so I really like it and if I can I will push it again. To go with that I have from the same line the exfoliator and this is other line aquarish I don't know if you guys can see it. This is for daily this is for daily use, so it's not a really harsh exfoliator, uh, but it still works wonders and I use this in the morning and this at night. And I really like to use in the morning just to take all the dirt and all the oils out of my head during I was sleeping. So I really like this and I'm sure I'm gonna push this again. Then also from Cien I have this moisturizer and this is the Cien Carrot Moisturizer Cream. And I have two types, I have this one and I have another one to try and this one it's for, um, I don't know, sensitive, um, normal skin, I don't really know. This is really nice and it comes like a pot like this, I really like this, uh, it was one of my favorite moisturizers, it moisturized really well, it was a time while I had my skin super hyper dry on the intro. so this kept them really hydrated and I really like it and it's also really affordable. And to end with skincare, I have here two products, which they come from like a mini set, which has, I actually had a video uh, doing a haul, um, which is the way back from my other videos. So this is the collection of the Tree Tree, uh, which is supposed to clear out your skin, help with acne. I quite like it, I really like the toner, these are samples because they came like in a small bag. Uh, if you want to know more, go check out the video I'm gonna put down below. I really like this toner, um, it was nice, it's, it's supposed to clear out your skin, take all the impurities and yet modify it. Uh, I really liked it, uh, if I could I will push it again. The big size, the toner is like huge, so I think I'm gonna push this again because it's really awesome, it keeps your skin clear. And it has alcohol, which I don't understand because alcohol just makes your skin wetter and doesn't really work with acne. But so now I'm trying another uh, toner, but I think I'm gonna refresh this again. And the tea tree oil, I love this at first, and I had this for a couple months now. It wasn't. I bought this like it's September, like August, like last summer and um, so I, I, in the beginning I started to actually do it but then I got into treatment of actually acne stuff to do so then I just put this apart but in the last few months and if you could see my last night routine I actually used some of this stuff and I really like this um, if you had like a huge people and you put this on your pimple the next day it's really almost not there, it may take two days to go on off completely but it's really nice and I'm sure I'm gonna push this again uh, the other thing though, they could make it a little bit bigger but it's nice and I really like it but now for makeup, I have here quite a few products for makeup so the first thing I have here, and this is my love I use this the whole entire year I, um, I think I bought this last September and just finished um, last month in May and I go and I went right to the end and oh my god this is my holy grail this is the pure shine a lip balm from Catrice and this is in Cherry Tie 
Um, this is like six euros and I love it so much. Oh my god, I can talk about it enough. It's really nice. Then I have like particularly any smell. It gives a hydrate your lips really well and gives amazing tint. Let me see if I still can get it. Gives like, a really nice sherry tint and this is just for a swipe. It's amazing. I just pull this on my bag, on my backpack, and I use it like on the, um, in the between the classes and it's amazing, give a really nice tint to my lips and I'm sure as hell I'm going to push this again. And I have here a foundation, this one is from Maybelline and I'm not sure if I'm going to say the name right, but this is the Affinitone foundation and this is in natural rose. Um, this is a really light uh, foundation, this is one of the lightest foundations I've ever tried in my life. Uh, it's really nice. The skin, uh, the skin, the color wasn't really right with my skin color. This is a natural rose, so it's kind of, it's kind of a rose undertone to it. So it wasn't quite my color, but I really like it. And this is great on the summer or even on the winter. I want to just want a really nice, a uh, thin application, just even out your skin tone. It still um, uh, gives a really nice coverage, which I like. It's kind of medium coverage, which is really nice, but it's still really light. So I really like it. And then the foundation that I really like is this one, which is from Catrice, and this is the fun, uh, Photo Finish 18 Hours Liquid Foundation. And this is kind of the style of the HD um, foundation by Makeup Forever. I love this. This was one of the first uh, foundation I've ever tried. I love this so much. Uh, this was 7 euros and it's amazing. This is in caramel beige which was my perfect color for the summer. And I finished until the end. Now if you guys can see it. This was the foundation I used in pretty much all my the first tutorials. I love this to death. I think I'm going to push this again. This is great if you want um, a really nice even out complexion. The flawless complexion which it's perfect if you take photos. Just really nice and I really like it. And I think I'm gonna refresh this again. Don't know. And lastly, for makeup, I have here the Skin Finish Compact Power Catrice. And this guy here, oh my god, it lasted me for a year. And still, it's not quite gone. It still has, you know, if you guys can see like this here, but just I can use it more. And finally, it's gone. If you can see my all pretty much my tutorials, it's with this or my. Um, Get ready right with me, everything I said with this, now I finally bought a new setting powder, but yeah. Um, it's, it's not like the greatest uh, skin powder, it's oil free, but it's not mattifying. I don't know, this is really light, so... I don't know, it's just a normal. Doesn't get any shimmery, I think, so yeah, I don't know. It's average, nothing too special about it, so yeah, it comes with a really nice packaging, but it's nice. And now, just to throw on in the end of this um, video, I have some stuff that actually I regret why I haven't got to the end of this. I just regret why and I'm going to show you and I just want to throw them away. And there are three stuff and the first one are from the same kind of collection. And it's from this Insensia Pure Style brand. Well, it's too close. The first thing I have here is the foam for your um, hair and this is for curly hair and I don't have curly hair as you can see I have straight hair I have straight hair but I bought this just because when I have like either bitchy ways or I curl my hair and then the next day I just really want to enhance it I bought this for that just to enhance my curls if I had them like when I curl it or the next day I curl them but this sucks that this just sucks I hate these these that like I don't know, for me it didn't hold my curls and you I, you need like a ton of this to really get your hair crunchy and curly and this is so sticky, oh my god, this is so freaking sti sticky, it looks like your hair is made of glue when you use this, I do not recommend this at all, it's horrible and again this is for my hair, if it works on yours, great for you and then we have the hairspray and this is supposed to be a really um, uh, a hard, not hard, but with a really, uh, I don't know how to say that in English, oh my god. Uh, to hold your curls really well, it's, uh, it's supposed to have a hard hold? No, what the fuck am I saying? Just to, supposed to hold your hair really, really well. And have a strong hold, that's it, a hard hold, oh my god, a strong hold. I think so you call it. But this again, the same problem, it's 
sticky as hell. And this doesn't work at all. This actually says here, but it's Portuguese, it's uh, extra, it's um, a strong hold and it doesn't hold anything, at least for my hair. And my hair on its own is able like to hold a little bit my curls, but this thing is so heavy and so sticky that my curls just go away. But this has a still a ton of it, I'm gonna throw this away, it sucks. And they're both really sticky and they don't work for my hair, so I do not recommend this. I do not recommend this at all. And the last product that I do not recommend is, and I think this not only my opinion, I heard some people saying this sucks. This is from Catrice, and this was not my, fir uh, my first uh, stuff I bought from Catrice. Uh, in fact, these three products, actually the first three products I bought from Catrice. And these shoes are fine, a lot of foundation, this is kind of average. But this thing over here, it's like, oh my god, do not buy this. If you're playing or buy it, just don't. This is the Prime and Fine eyeshadow base. So this is kind of, um, this is a pot, so it's kind of those pintery pots from MAC, I think so you call it. So this is like this. But this, it's so hard to take off. This, it's so hard. I don't know if to try. But it's hard since the first time, so I don't know if it was already dried or whatever. Do you see? And then if you pick up a little bit, it's so hard just to blend. Can you see that? It is fucking horrible. And then when you go through the ash, it's like there's nothing there. Literally, this sucks. This seems dry as hell from the first application. This is dry as hell. Woo! Oh my god, I was actually made it to do all of the box. You should see there are like a ton of products now laying down on my desk. So yeah, this is my empty products and kind of regret buying some products. Uh, sorry if it was too long, um, but this is a ton of products uh, to talk about it and I think I did it really fast and why it will be here like half an hour. But yeah, thumbs up the video if you liked it and if you like empty products and what are, if you ever try one of these um, products, comment down below what you thought or if you have any more like question about this product that I may answer. And don't forget uh, to go check out my last video, which was actually a giveaway. So if you want to um, win some goodies, uh, go check out my last video, it's gonna put down below so you can enter on my giveaway and maybe win. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!